All right, so we're back here at the cliff top. We were going to enter Jolly Roger's Lagoon, but before we do that, there's actually a few things we need to do. First up, we're going back to Hellfire Peaks. But actually, before we do that, we're going to the back of Hellfire Peaks. The entire world is in this one tiny temple, which is crazy. We, we, we want to grab these claw clamber boots. Bet you forgot these were here. Anyhow, we can use these. Walk across here. And there are these nice little footprints that we can use to walk up the wall. And at the top of the wall here is a Jinjo! Oh wow, we actually were able to walk down. That's like a first. Anyhow, that was the last Jinjo in the ILO Hags. So before we go over to Jolly Rogers Lagoon, there are two things that I want to show off here in Hailfire Peaks, even though we've technically already gotten everything here. So the first thing I want to show off is here in Boggy's Igloo. If you enter Boggy's Igloo after you've gotten the Witchy World Jiggy from Mrs. Boggy, then the rest of his family will be here as well. This is one of the reasons I wanted to do all the backtracking in one video, just so I could show off every part of the game, basically. <laughs> Even the parts that uh, change, depending on if, if you've gotten a Jiggy or not. Thanks for all your help, Banjo! Did Boggy put the dinner in the oven? No! <laughs> Boggy's so lazy nowadays, can't you take him with you on your adventures? I don't think he would do anything. Lovely fish, that. Why not stay a while? I've just got the new Bear Babes DVD. Should be hot stuff. Um, no thanks. Also, he's watching, I believe, Mr. Pants. And if we go down here... Here are their free ratty kids. Cheers for the burger back at the fair! You literally tried to throw the whole thing on me. Don't, how dare you? I think I need to use the bathroom, but I can't seem to get up. Oh, brother. Jumping on mom and pop's bed is almost as much fun as the fair! This kid is the brattiest out of all of them. I told my dad you hit me, and he's going to bash you after his DVD is finished. Sure. I, I don't think your dad can even get out of the chair. Also, I'm pretty sure he's watching the 24-hour YouTube video of Mr. Pants, so probably not. Also, by the way, you deserve that spanking, buddy. I mean, you didn't deserve a grenade egg to the face, but you definitely deserve the spanking. Thanks for the fries, Mr. Bear! She is the only one who's not that brat. Well, she's still kind of bratty. Look at Maggie and Mom's bed! I'm going to tell her, and he'll be in so much trouble! Okay, she is still kind of bratty. Uh, the Boggy family is not looking particularly functional right now. Oh my gosh! Just drill the Yeti open. It's kind of gruesome. Anyhow, the real reason why I wanted to come to Hailfire Peaks is an actual reason we need to do in order to grab a Jiggy. You'll remember we murdered poor George Ice Cube back in Cloud Cuckoo Land, and now the fiery side pool is not scalding hot, it's just warm. Well, this is where we're gonna need to use Banjo's Shack Pack ability still. We can sink to the ground, and now we can push this switch. Open up the door now, and this just warm water will now drain through that top pipe in Jolly Rogers Lagoon to actually heat up their pool at last. At last, we can go for a swim! Here, take this piece of gold that we stole off of this smelly bony lady in a big pointy hat! Thanks! <laughs> Why are they still crying though? Man, that side quest takes for freaking ever to complete. But that's why I wanted to go here before Jolly Rogers Lagoon, because we can now go through that door to just quick warp to Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Although first we need to grab Kazooie. Because Kazooie is not going to let us leave without her. Yeah, that stupid pig side quest takes forever. There's a reason many people consider it to be the most annoying side quest in the game. Is it just, literally, it's a World 4 side quest that you need to go all the way to World 8, which is the last world of the game in order to complete. <laughs> I get it, but it's still not that bad. It's not as bad as some of those Donkey Kong 64 bananas. 
Padoom! Oh, hey, they're actually swimming now. Well, there's free armed boy. Are they both in the pool? Oh, how nice. I don't think we can talk to them while they're in the pool, though. So, we're back here at Jolly Roger's Lagoon. We still have two jiggies we need to get. And on top of which, we also have a Cheeto page to grab as well. So, both of these jiggies require us to split up. And not only that, they both require Solo Kazooie. So the first one... Remember that hole we blew up in Jolly's Wall? Yeah. We're gonna shortcut here into the Smuggler's Cavern. There was that Jiggy that was on top of the massive stalagmite on the wall, or on the- <laughs> that's sticking up out of the floor. Well, what you're supposed to do is you need to wait until you've gotten the glide ability from Hailfire Peaks, so we can just glide on over here and grab the Jiggy. Requires some backtracking, but not too bad. Anyhow, the other thing that we need to do is remember poor Tip Top, whose uh, egg is just not hatching? Well, yeah, free guess is what move we need in order to help him out there. I still think it's kind of weird that part of Jolly Roger's Lagoon you can only access by, like, traveling through Mumbo's skull. Like, Mumbo built his skull in front of a cave entrance, apparently. that we literally needed to grenade egg open. I can't tell you how long it took me to figure this out, by the way. I could always see this area from, like, the cove. Hi. Aha! Hi. But I couldn't actually do anything about it. Don't worry, Tip Top. Hmm, here you go. Hmm. Hmm. Aw, baby Tip Top! Thank you so much. Wait, something looks odd. Oh no, he's upside down. You mean he's tipped up. That's not funny. Please help him. And for this, we literally need to smack him to flip him over. Oh, that's much better. I found this buried in the sand. It's yours. Now come along, son. I'll take you to meet all your sisters. And then he goes upside down. Aw. That's cute. We actually do help somebody out in this game. And there we go. We only have three Jiggies left in the entire game. Two of them are in Grunty Industries, and the last one is for getting that final Jinjo. But before we do that, we still have a Cheeto page in order to collect in this world. This was a Cheeto page we also could have gotten a very long time ago, but... Well, it would have required us to backtrack at least after we reached Pterodactyl Land, so... Banjo-Kazooie together at last. We're off to Atlantis. The underwater area. I mean, one of the many underwater areas. Alright. One of these is the Seaweed Sanctum. I think that was the one that's the Seaweed Sanctum. One of these is the Temple of the Fishes, one is the Electric Eels Lair, but that's like the tiny tower. I think this is the one. I believe this is the Ancient Swimming Baths, which is where that Cheeto page is. Sure enough, here we go. Ancient Swimming Baths. It's the one that's slightly smaller than the Seaweed Sanctum. Aha! You also remember this was what uh, the Jiggy Wiggy Challenge showed. Alright. So we need to use the Split Up Pads here. And if we use our Amazo Gaze glasses, we can see the Cheeto page is all the way over there. So, what we have to do is, again, we need to utilize the glide. And we also need to do the leg sprint ability. And then pull off a glide at the peak of the leg, leg sprint ability. And we can glide all the way through this area to the Cheeto page. Kind of an involved process for a single Cheeto page, but there we go. That is the last Cheeto page in the entire game, so we can unlock the final cheat, which is a very weird one. It's probably not what you are expecting. Anyhow, next stop, everybody, Grunty Industries to collect those last two jiggies there. And they're both in very similar places. Spatially, they're pretty much right next to each other, however, 
We're gonna have to do a little bit of trekking to get uh, to each of them. You know what? Let's take the train. Chuffy is in this game after all. Let's take advantage of him. I mean, that came out wrong. <laughs> we might as well use what's at our disposal. Chuffy is warming his coals on the lava side of Hellfire Peaks. Would you like Chuffy to pick you up? Yeah, so the only three worlds in this game that do not have Chuffy stations are Maya Hem Temple, Jolly Roger Lagoon, and Cloud Cuckoo Land. Cloud Cuckoo Land, it makes sense, because that's literally in the sky. This is not the gummy train. Maya Hem Temple, they probably didn't have one because they didn't want you to encounter the train station before Glare Vulture Mine, which is where you actually learn how to use the train. And then Jolly Roger Lagoon, I'm really not sure. I guess they couldn't find a convenient way of putting that in the town center. So... That's fine. Chuffy's still a cool concept. I just think, like, he could have been used a little bit more. He still used a decent amount for, like, the Styracosaurus family side quest. I also really like how you literally have to take him to Grunty Industries to unlock it. Here we go. Off to Grunty Industries. We're taking the train just like all the other employees at that company. Alright, everyone clock in for your shift. We're here at Grunty Industries. Now, both of the remaining Jiggies are in the Waste Disposal Plant. However, the Waste Disposal Plant is divided into um, multiple different sections. <laughs> Some of them you can access through different ways. One of them you can only access through Jolly Rogers Lagoon. However, both of them we need to reach via Grunty Industries itself. So, first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to take the dive into the actual plant that we unlocked. Actually, I think we're going the wrong way. Yeah, it's over here. So for the first one, we actually need to literally just jump in here. So you'll remember that there's that jiggy in the glass case at the end of the toxic waste, but we had no way of actually crossing the toxic waste. We actually do now. Now that we have the Banjo Sack Pack ability from Cloud Cuckoo Land, we can actually hop across the surface of the Toxic Ooze. So we needed to push the switch at the top of the machine to, in order to raise the water level of the acid. The reason for that being that once the water level is raised, we're able to hop across the surface of it. No biggie. Now we're over here, we can press this banjo-only switch, shatter the glass case, and get ourselves a jiggy. Now, the other jiggy is literally at the bottom of the toxic ooze on the other side of that gate, right there. So it's spatially, like, right next to this one, but we actually have to take kind of a long detour in order to reach that one. For those of you who are astute and remember, um... After we defeated Weldar in the air conditioning plant, that giant fan broke down and there was a way to reach the tox uh, the waste disposal plant from there. However, we couldn't actually go inside the toxic waste because, well, surprise surprise, it's toxic and deals damage. However, we now have a method of actually grabbing it. Specifically, we can use the split-up pads over there, followed by Banjo's shack pack ability in order to dive into the toxic ooze and grab the jiggy. It's a long involved process, but it's still fairly fun. I still contend that Grunty Industries gets a very bad rap, and it doesn't deserve a lot of the hate that it gets. I get why people don't like it, I just personally think that it is a lot better than people make it out to be. Alright, so what we have to do is go all the way back here, take a dip down into the air conditioning plant. Thanks, Weldar, for hitting the secret switch, which turned off the air conditioner. I mean, the employees now have to work in the sweltering hot summer with the um, the boilers while without air conditioning, so they probably hate us. But, now that the air conditioner is broken, we don't get pushed back by the fan. So we are able to go inside the waste disposal plant. Yeah, the waste disposal plant, there are like three different areas to enter it from that all cut off in different dead ends. Five if you include the tiny pipes from Jolly Rogers Lagoon and Hailfire Peaks. Anyhow, yep, we put on the shack pack ability. 
And we can dive in no problem and grab ourselves this Jiggy. And that's it for all of the Jiggies in all of the main worlds. The only one left is completing that Black Ninjo family. Yowch! Sorry about that, Banjo, but... Duty calls. It almost would be easier to just take... I feel like it would actually be faster to take an intentional death here. <laughs> and then just quick warp back to Chuffy the train. But nah. I'm not doing that. Alright. We are now finished with all the main worlds. So next step, we're gonna go to Spiral Mountain. And from there, we can grab the last Jinjo, as well as the final Cheeto uh, uh, cheat. Because we have the last five Cheeto pages. Then after that, we can activate the final cheat, get our final health upgrade from Honey Bee, and... Whoop. Didn't mean to do that. And then at that point, I believe we can call it an episode, and then next episode we'll be able to take on the final world. Ooh, how exciting. Anyhow. I could have gotten this Jinjo ages ago. So in this pool of water, there's this little Kazooie boulder. I think I pointed it out in, like, the very first episode. Well, it's it's a Talon Torpedo one. We can destroy it and get the final Jinjo inside. The Black Jinjo family is complete! They'd like you to have this. Yay! We finally completed all of the Jinjo families. So if we get to visit their houses in the Jinjo village, they're all going to be cheering for joy. Yeah, we could have gotten that ages ago. I forgot about it. Whoops. Anyhow, climb into Grunty's lair, talk to Cheeto, give him all of his cheat codes back. I have never seen this happen before. I have never gotten this final cheat legitimately, because I've never been able to beat that stupid Canary Mary second race. Great, you've got enough pages for me to tell you a new secret cheat. About time, spill the beans! Hand over my precious pages first. Much obliged. My fifth cheat is Jukebox. Got it? Well, that's all the cheats I can give you for now. If you find any more pages, you know where to find me. But that was all the pages in the game. This is a menu of the codes I have told you. Jukebox. That is probably not what you expected the final cheat to be. Yeah. Remember way back in Jolly Rogers Lagoon how uh, Jolly was like, Oh dear, my uh, jukebox is broken. Well... This is how we fix it. <laughs> it's super weird and not expected, but it's an interesting final cheat. Ouch. 